Thank you. Well done, really. This is Thank fantastic. You. Thank you. I, I, I wanted to know what I'm really going for, so I read up a little before yeah. coming. Okay. <laughs> this is so fascinating. Mm. <laughs> you know, it's been going on since the fourth century. Well, pretty much almost since the invention of paper. And really. the Chinese did that. Exactly. Yeah. But amazing, really, how that went. And all the effort that goes into this. And there's so many different things. This is my husband. I know, I know. So just you know. And all the things that you do and all the types of paper cutting. Yes, well I tend to do, you know, just this kind, but there are many, okay. many people who are doing it all different ways and we all have our own kind of unique way of doing things and our, our preferred paper. Is there a reason you've chosen a particular I, I, type? I, but this seems quite no, different I'm actually. Quite, Animals and houses and... Well, it's all quite folky though, so the, oh, you know, the, that's, that's the yes, theme, isn't it? Really? it's all sort of folk art, which is my, my thing, that's what I really like to do. Um, and I think it just suits paper cutting really well, as, you know, you can sort of do something that looks like it could be a peacock, but obviously it could never be a peacock, but it's, it doesn't look necessarily wrong. No, it and doesn't. And that's the nice thing about folk art, is that you can just play with things. How do you... How long does it take to do this? I mean, it seems that it takes quite a long time. 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, did it on the train. <laughs> um, well, obviously they vary. I think that one took me about 20 hours. You know, 20 and, hours? And I can't just sit there, you know, also with the kids, I can't just sit there and do it. Can I have a closer look? Of course I can. And this is, so you, you take the paper. The yes, the it's white on the back, the paper. All the paper is white on the back. Right. So um, I draw it all from the back and cut it from the back. So it's one piece of paper. It's not oh, piece yes. that you... Oh, it will all hang there. If you were to hang it on your washing line, it would all hang there. All of them will hang there in one piece. That's the whole kind of thing about paper cutting. It's just... Amazing. It's just an art form that is slightly obsessive, I think. <laughs> It is really amazing how much effort we How did you get into this? You know, it always been on my radar. I had a book about of traditional paper cuts, yeah. and, and, and I just loved it. And I thought, well, let's have a go. And I was hooked. I was, hooked. So I was looking for something that I could do when my little one was born that I could do and not make a horrible mess. And I'm not a messy artist. I like to be quite. Well, you can't be one. Can no, you really exactly. I'm not a splash it about sort of artist. So you know, I was looking for something that I could do at home, at the table, clear it away if I needed to, and uh, you know, then I was just hooked as soon as I tried it. Yeah, I think that's my favourite. At the moment, that's wow. my favourite. Yeah. I saw something like this on the, on the net as well. It must be yours. It may have been mine. <laughs> yeah, it may have been, yours. That, yeah, it may have been mine. <laughs> Amazing, really. And that's different colours. Yeah, just put that one in there. Wow. Just for change. Just yes, okay. Just for change. And then there's another one over there. They will all hang in one piece. <laughs> I'm very particular about that because some people, when they do them, they do do, you know, stick another bit on here and there. But I'm very traditional in the way that I like to do it. So, um, and when I have, have workshops, I make sure that I'm teaching that way as well because that's the traditional way of doing it. I think if you're learning a new skill. And, um, you know, learn, It is touching. Yeah, but then, you know, it doesn't matter because he's joined, it's all joined together and it's a bit like the leading. If you think about leading on a stained glass window, you know, it's all joined somewhere. Something is always joined to something else. So that one will just hang, you know, properly. It's very easy.
Hi everybody and welcome, welcome to our art soiree here. I think um, I'd like to start by um, congratulating Susie on her fantastic work and how with precision cutting she's done this. It's fantastic. I've never really seen anything like this. So we're very grateful to you for choosing our, our council here to do this. You know, and I hope you choose us again as you get more and more famous. <laughs> <laughs> And I think um, this is something that involves a lot of the community here. And we've got people from all walks of life. And, um, and I'd encourage everyone to come and, and get more people here and you know, do a lot, of, a lot more of this work and watching what we're doing here. Um, also, I'd like to also thank the Three Rivers team here for doing what they've done. It's a great effort. It's the second, or the third, or fourth, uh, fifth. fifth, the fifth function they're doing here. And uh, I was reading a little about the history of this paper cutting thing. It's a very, very interesting, really. It started the f in the fourth century, I believe, with the Chinese. Yeah, almost as long just, as just, just the just before, of paper, really. Just before the paper uh, was, well, just after the yeah. paper was, set, obviously. <laughs> so, so well, I, I just hope you enjoy this and, uh, and, and buy some stuff. <laughs> Say something about this movie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you want to tell us a little about how this started. Melanie can say something. All right. <laughs> 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 we really were delighted to find Susie and I think because she's so local it's really special as well that she's here and there has been a lot of interest in the exhibition. I think it's probably inspired a lot of people and it's really nice to come into the space you know throughout the day and see people with their noses pressed up against the glass. I actually think I need to clean them a bit. <laughs> yeah it's really great so thank you Susie. Thank you. Thank you. 